Last night we had the first one with Cheryl and the girls and it's caused quite a lot of controversy today. A lot of people are up in arms about it, saying how brutal it was and how unfair. Um, I'm kind of angry. I know I shouldn't be angry, but I am angry a little bit because I think people need to take a step back and realise what it is. It's a TV show. It is a TV show that's there to find music, um, music acts, singers, successful ones too. But it is a TV show, no less. You sign up, you know what you're getting into, you know this is a TV show, you know it's for entertainment purposes. If yesterday Cheryl had have just picked six girls, all nice, all happy, lovely, that's boring. No one's going to watch that. Where's the drama? You're not going to be rooting for anyone. So now my moan's over, I'm going to get down to the fun stuff. I was actually at this boot camp um, at Wembley Arena on the 10th of August. And it was so dramatic. I, um, I've got a bit of the booing on my phone. And I say a bit because I didn't get all of it. But I've got 14 minutes. That's insane. It was just constant booing for 14 minutes. Um, people really thought Monica Michael should have got a seat. People really felt that Chloe Jasmine... Um, you know, I can't remember the name of the girl that Chloe Jasmine replaced in the end. That tells you everything. I remember her uh, performance and I remember it was just a clean cut Adele, uh, sorry, Emily Sande song. It was just quite safe and it was boring. She's a professional singer. It was dull. It was great. It was great. She's, she had a great voice, but it was safe and it was dull. Chloe Jasmine, not maybe as much of a powerful voice, but a really compelling character, a really interesting person, a really nice, sweet, unique, jazzy tone, something we've not really had before. We've had Rebecca Ferguson with the whole kind of jazz vibe, but Chloe, it's a really interesting vibe. And then girls like Lauren Platt and uh, Carrie Ann are very good, hugely talented, quite versatile, but unlike Chloe, who has a definitive style, are these girls... Um, unique enough to stand out and make it to the finals. So I've just found all my notes, which were the notes I took when I was at boot camp. As much as everyone else was having fun and having a good time, I'm sat there taking notes. I'm such a geek. Um, but one thing I did find interesting was Stephanie from the Luminites, quite a lot of people in the audience were saying they didn't think it was fair that she was getting such a huge second chance. Um, you know, and it's funny, I always say the public can be quite peculiar about two things. People who've had such a big first chance and are now returning, and also people from other countries. People feel like perhaps they're being lied to, or that it's unfair. Um, I think if Stephanie does go through to the finals, I don't think she'll hang around long for the same reason. I just don't think people are rooting for her in the same way they are Lauren Platt, Lola, Kerry Ann. Chloe Jasmine, you know, we know these story we know these stories, we know them as characters, we're rooting for them. So I don't think Stephanie's off to the best start. I'm also just flicking through these notes and just seeing that there were so many people that didn't get shown on the TV show. There was one girl called Sophie who did a really country style of Say You'll Be There by the Spy Skills, which Mel B did not like. And also we didn't see much of the judges apart from Cheryl. Mel B was hilarious that day, and Simon was so honest and cutting but honest and it was a shame we didn't get to see much of that but obviously with only an hour in you know it has to be done don't forget to check out all my other x factor roundup videos i've done one for every week and this weekend i'm going to do one for every night of boot camp uh, please check them all out please subscribe to my channel and also please click the thumbs up on every single video it all helps and i love you all thank you for watching